uh, with the news. SBF, you remember SBF, Sam Bankman Freed, uh, the CEO of uh, bankrupt F or, or bankrupt FTX. Uh, Sam Bankman Freed was, uh, as you know, uh, convicted of fraud, as you know, because we covered it on the show, convicted of fraud um, uh, for uh, what he did at FTX. Uh, and uh, has been uh, fined uh, billions of dollars, uh, so his personal wealth has basically been eviscerated uh, to try to pay off uh, some of the debts that the company had when it had been bankrupt. As if, interestingly enough, as it turns out, because of what's happened with crypto and particularly what's happened with Bitcoin and with the rest of crypto over the last uh, few months, with it achieving all-time highs, going above 70,000 and stuff. Uh, the assets of FTX actually turned positive, and I think people actually made money on uh, the bankrupt company because uh, because it held enough Bitcoin to cover everything. But of course, that doesn't mitigate the fact that there was fraud committed, and at the time of the company shutting down uh, and and the fraud, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, prosecution, uh, it was in the red. It's only turned green because of the market, right, because of the movement in the market. Uh, anyway, uh, Sam Bankman-Fried was sentenced yesterday to 25 years in jail. Now, I'm no Sam Bankman-Fried fan for many, many, many reasons. Um, uh, among them, his uh, effective altruism. Uh, but more importantly, he committed fraud. <laughs> and he should go to jail. And uh, it, that is really, really, really bad. But 25 years in jail? I mean, there are rapists who don't get 25 years in jail. Uh, second degree uh, murder doesn't get, uh, I think in many cases, doesn't get 25 years in jail. Uh, you know, beating somebody up, aggravated assault, doesn't get 25 years in jail. I mean, this seems like uh, this is nuts. It, 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 it reminds me a little bit of kind of Donald Trump's 450 something billion dollar uh, million dollar fine. I mean, these are ridiculous, particularly in an era where shoplifting cool, uh, we're not going to even prosecute you. Uh, you can punch somebody in the face as happened in New York recently, just a random woman walking down the street was punched in the face by some guy who's obviously mentally ill, but he got, uh, like, like he, he, some minimal thing, and he's back on the streets. I mean, there's something very, very wrong about this kind of sentence uh, uh, for these kind of things. Um, uh, uh, SBF is obviously a, a bad guy, but he's not the kind of bad that I think justifies... Uh, this kind of sentence, uh, uh, you know, what, what, what can you say? I mean, Mike Mokin, for nothing, basically, got 10 years in jail. But at least in that case, the judge had the audacity, the honesty to say, I'm making an example of you. Because I hate, basically, because I hate Wall Street and everything that happens to Wall Street. I'm making an example of you. Uh, is the judge here making an example of SBF, obviously, but for what, over what? So fraud is bad. Uh, you know, I would have expected a five-year term, maybe a 10-year term. 25 years is, is, is just insane, you know, given how we treat violent criminals in this culture. So I don't know. I feel sorry for, I don't know if I feel sorry for FB, SBF, but I guess I do. I mean, that's just a, a ridiculous a ridiculous uh, uh, sentence. I, I wonder if some future administration will um, pardon him, given how many, uh, what political contributions he made uh, while he was around. But, but I'm not sure they will. I mean, why? Just, I'm sure a lot of them would just rather forget him. He's gone. He's never going to make a future contribution, so why bother? Um, real sacrificial lamb for the sins of crypto, for the hatred of crypto, for the hatred of finance, for the hatred of, 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 of people being successful in finance. Um, I mean, Bernie Mayer got 150 years. 
I mean, that seems exaggerated, right? 150 years, uh, given that murderers don't get that. I mean, first degree murderers don't get 150 years. That seems exaggerated. Uh, also, Bernie Madoff, Bernie Madoff set out unequivocally to commit fraud. He had intent uh, from the beginning, really. He built a pyramid scheme. Uh, SBF did bad stuff, but you get a sense that he kind of drifted into it. It wasn't one big scheme to defraud his investors, his, 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 the people who did business with him. It was something that kind of, like most frauds, drifted into and, and landed up covering himself and you know covering previous mistakes by committing fraud. It's not the same thing. The, the intent matters. Uh, Bernie Madoff, I still don't think this was 150 years but certainly deserves more than SBF. Uh, so, yeah. Sure, SBF is way worse than punching a person in the face. Absolutely. But the person punching in the face got zero. Uh, so it's not that much worse. And uh, it's not worse than killing somebody. It's not worse than raping somebody. It's not worse than you know, some aggravated assault where people are beaten to an edge of their life. And 25 years is a lot in criminal law. So, no, it strikes me as uh, way too much, um, uh, way too much. Uh, well, it's not a hatred of envy of success. It's a hatred of people in finance. And, yes, yeah, some people in finance commit fraud, so let's, let's really go after them as compared to everybody else. But uh, I would say there are lots of violent crimes that are much, much worse than uh, what SBF did. And, and look, the people who participated, the people who invested, the people who played along and, and, and had dealings with SBF, you know, were somewhat blind to this, right? Were somewhat evasive to this. It's not like they are completely innocent and that a little bit of due diligence wouldn't have discovered this. The same thing is true, by the way, Bernie Madoff. Lots of people refused to give Bernie money because they understood what was going on. So I'm not blaming the victims here, but I'm just saying I'd like to see sentences on violent crime go up and sentences on this kind of stuff come down. Not to zero, five, ten years, still a significant chunk of somebody's life. This strikes me as exaggerated. All right.